Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3, Episode 5, The Beach. And uh, last episode, Sokka had a master. He learned swordsmanship from this um, fire mission master. And the guy knew that he was a uh, water tribe from the water tribe since the giggle and he knew about Aang being the avatar and all that but he still thought Sokka the sword swordsmanship <laughs> right so yeah that was cool and so Sokka made his own sword based on this meteor that dropped from someplace or whatever so yeah that was cool and uh, before we get into this episode if you guys have a reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and please consider supporting my patreon patreon.com slash Feel me and I'll start this episode and here we go. Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself so you can just click on it, watch it, and then just come back for my review. I am proud of you, <sighs> Are you finally gonna see the person that he sent after them? Then, how can I forget Uncle being ripped? <sighs> so cool. Book three, fire, chapter five, the beach. On Ember Island. It's gonna be great to hang out on the beach and do nothing. Oh, that is the time. beach. We're being sent away on a forced vacation. So the two those two old ladies. I don't, is it the same two old ladies that announces? I don't think so. It smells like old lady here. <laughs> 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 Ang, I know swimming is fun. <laughs> what? I'm wearing trunks. I know. It's your tattoos I'm worried about. Do you don't know where that's leading? Oh my gosh, is it gonna be leading to where those ever happen? <sighs> the avatar's alive. We better send a messenger hawk to the fire lord. <sighs> Why are they under? <laughs> of course you do that. Okay. Well, this is not a war. It's supposed to be a game. It's supposed to be fun. The hey. We defeated you for all time. You will never rise from the ashes of your shame and humiliation. <sighs> Don't you know who we are? We're Chan and Ron John. Yeah. Okay. But fine, you're invited. Why didn't you tell those guys who we were? I was intrigued. I'm so used to people worshipping us. They should. Yes, I know. And I love it. To the party! Hmm. Is that the thing that sent the thing? <laughs> that bird is the, the, the eye person's bird. <laughs> oh, the eye person's bird. Okay. Did the fire come from the eye? Just an expression. We are the perfect party guests. We arrive right on time because we are very punctual. Outfit Chan. Careful. You could puncture the hull of an Empire class Fire Nation battleship. 
leading thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. Um. Thanks. <laughs> he thinks he's so great. Well, what do you think of him? Being jealous. Opinion about him. I hardly know him. Which one of us do you like? Yeah, tell us. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. Because you make it so easy for them. You're not a challenge. You're a tease. It's not like they actually care who you are. <sighs> okay, girl in the world. Well, you're right about all those things. But for some reason, when I meet boys, they act as if I'm going to do something horrible to them. Because you're going to. Uh, I feel like her smile is gonna be scary. What the heck kind of relationship is this? Your arms look so strong. Sure. I know. Strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the earth. Ay, ay, ay. Fight. Hey, watch it. That food was for my cranky girlfriend. Relax. It's just a party. Zuko, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You have no passion for anything. You're just a big blah. It's over, Zuko. We're done. <laughs> well, <my> is <sighs> That's it. Aww. Where's mommy? That's what I want to know. She dead. Oh, was that Uncle Arrow? With Zuko and his son? You grown up. <sighs> no, you're not. <sighs> I thought I'd find you here. Those summers we spent here seemed so long ago. So much has changed. Hey. Where's your new boyfriend? How does this thing work? Oh, is that the mark from where uh, Azula uh, basically sort of like almost killed, her, killed him? I don't think he's blowing things up with his mind. There must be some kind of me mechanics that goes into that. Ooh, nice. Did he, lo did he lose a, a leg? It's like a metal leg or something. Look at him covering a stone. He knows he's there. And they're gone. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? But it's a painting of your family. You think <laughs> I care? I think you do. I'm so pretty. Look at me. I can walk on my hands. Woo! You being a jerk. Have you idea what my home life was like growing up with six sisters who look exactly like me? She's a twin. Like I didn't even have my own name. Circus freak is a compliment. Yes, that explains why you need ten boyfriends too. I'm sorry. What? I don't believe in auras. Yeah, you don't believe in anything. Oh well, I'm sorry. I can't be as high, strung, and crazy as the rest of you. I'm I was a rich only child who got anything I wanted. As long as I behaved. And sat still. And didn't speak unless spoken to. That's why you're afraid to care about anything. And why you can't express yourself. You want me to express myself? Leave me alone! Okay. Calm down, you guys. This much
much negative energy is bad for your skin. You'll totally break out. Bad skin? No, I'm gonna worry about <sighs> I don't have, I'd be happy. I'm back home now. My dad talks to me. <laughs> he even thinks I'm a hero. Everything should be perfect, right? I should be happy now. But I'm not. Who are you angry at, Zuko? Everyone. I don't know. Is it dad? No, no. Your uncle? Me? Answer it. I'm angry at myself! I know one thing I care about. I care about you. I could sit here and complain how our mom liked Zuko more than me, but I don't really care. My own mother. Thought I was a monster. Uh, as you were? She was right. You know what would make this trip really memorable? We've got some bad news, Chan. <sighs> Okay. This episode, the beach. <laughs> the beach consisted of Tai Li, Mai, Zuko, and that's why going to this beach because their father wanted to have this meeting with his advisors by himself or whatever. He he didn't want anybody them i guess there so, so they sent them to the beach and there was these two old ladies that said you know this beach was gonna reveal who you truly are or something or other or whatever and then <sighs> the main thing is it came down to um like that beach scene right where all of them were there and then they basically let out what they've had on their hearts i guess because at one point when they went to the to the party um my and uh, zuko broke up because she was basically expressionless and he was like way way too angry just get blow, blowing everything out of proportion or whatever like that guy was just talking to mine and then he went there and then he just pushed the guy broke something and my is like i'm done so when they were about the um, beach, I knew when they were asking Zuko, like, who was he angry at? I knew the ang girl, like, he was going to say himself. Because who else would, be, who, would he be angry at? You know, if not himself. Because he's... <sighs> I've, I've been disappointed in Zuko ever since he turned against um uncle and joined up with azula and went against ang and katara like i've been like, disappointed in him and then when he went to see uncle and he was calling him an old fool or whatever i'm like boy so when he said he was angry at himself i'm like yeah <laughs> be angry at yourself and then my part of it the fact that she was she doesn't let her emotions show is because that's how she was conditioned ever since she was a child to be perfect to not like rock the water you know every time she try she does that then the mother will be like smacking smacking that down so she kept her feelings to herself and just remained emotionless or light you know and then when it came to Tali and the fact that she was craving this attention from all these people is because there's like six of them in the, her family and they all look alike. So I'm guessing they're, they're twins, that there's like six twins and she felt invisible. And the only way that she can basically distinguish herself from the others was that by training the circus and, you know, so there is that. And as well, as there was no no change or whatever in her attitude like when um guys 
boys were like staying away from her she would attack any situation like that volleyball thing she attacked it like it was some kind of battle that they have to defeat the the enemy crush them to their souls or whatever and then when um tally was getting rid of all those boys that were you know way too much into her or whatever and then she approached azula and azula like tear teared her down and then she admitted that she was feeling jealous and excuse me and tally gave her pointers about how she should be smiling at everything even if you know every little joke even if it's not funny and it was working (laughs) with that one dude but then she reverted back to being her domineering self or whatever so the guy like skedaddled and yeah so and then what about the beach and she's like my own mother thought I was a monster. And I'm like, yeah, because you were. And she, she she knows that. So I'm like, I was afraid that this episode was going to make me sympathize with her. And I'm glad that he did not do that because I really do not want to sympathize with her. She hasn't shown any... Uh, I don't know, any amount of human emotions that will make me soften toward her. Even when she is trying to comfort somebody, I I think in the back of my mind that she's just doing it because she has to, not because she she feels like doing it. I don't know. Like there's some kind of ulterior motive in everything that she does. So I'm like, uh, glad that this episode revealed a bunch of stuff. Well, about the all of them, except for Azula, she still remained the, the same person that she went in to, like, this episode. So I'm like, yeah, I'm glad that this episode did not change my, my opinion of her. And then you have Ang over there. They were having fun in the water, and um, stuff was telling him to cover his car. And he's like, there's nobody here. We can have fun. And then there was... He went into this slide, water slide, or whatever. I'm like, where is this gonna lead? I thought at first that it was gonna lead to where um, Zuko and the others were, but no. He went to this Fire Nation outpost or whatever, and then the the two noticed that he was alive. They sent this bird that got captured by the assassin bird, and then the assassin knew where the avatar was, and then he showed up there. And then I don't quite know how his um, eye thing work. They're saying that he's blowing things up with his mind. Like it's some kind of psychic thing. But I don't think it's a psychic thing. I feel like it's more... I don't know. But I don't think it's a psychic thing. It's probably fire-based. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how how it, how it works, but it just didn't feel like some kind of psychic magic kind of thing. You know, it feels more like maybe another form of firebending. You know, and then he had all these metal parts to him, so I'm like, if he had those metal parts, then that means that his eye thing must also be some kind of mechanical thing that this um that any the others just need to figure out, and they might be able to defeat him. But uh, at least in this episode, they were able to get away from him. So, but he's still going to be on that trail. So, so no, little they're going to have to face him again. And yeah, I was kind of hoping that when they said that this episode was going to reveal who you truly are or whatever, that this was going to be the episode where Zuko was going to re realize that he was going down the wrong path. But it doesn't look like it because by the end there... As well as like there's something we need to do. And then they went and destroy like stuff at the party. So I'm like, he's embracing being his bad evil self. So I'm like, oh, okay, you do you. I'm just like, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> the way I was hoping Zuko was going to go. Like I know sooner or later, like I still know that he's going to be teaching um and firebending things sometimes in the future. But it's like... Right now, I just don't see that. I'm seeing his thing right here, and it's um, I'm not liking it. 
I'm not liking it at all. Thank you guys for watching. And if you had this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. But and please consider supporting my Patreon. Patreon. Com slash Philly Mini, where you can find my reaction to the very next episode already uploaded there. And you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.